power will be restored to the entire island. The company that operates the grid in Puerto Rico says that it could take days, but for the people who live in Puerto Rico, they do expect it's going to take longer than that. And our team coverage turns now to relief following Fiona. And local 10 News reporter Trent Kelly is joining us. He's in Doral with some efforts already underway to help. Yeah, Christy, in fact, several groups here in South Florida are now stepping in to help. One of them being the Global Empowerment Mission here in Doral. In fact, they've already got a crew on the way to the island as we speak. They're expected to arrive there later today. The nonprofit also packing more than 1,700 supply kits specifically for families, as many there in Puerto Rico continue to sit in the dark. Yeah, so we're going into emergency mode. Um, so that means crews are staying late, coming in early. A round-the-clock effort in Doral to send emergency aid supplies to hard-hit Puerto Rico, where rain from Hurricane Fiona continues to cause devastating flooding. We're packing boxes with family necessity kits. So we already had those pre-positioned, but as soon as they go out the door, we want to make sure those are backfilled in case there's another disaster nearby. Workers from the nonprofit Global Empowerment Mission have been busy loading pallets and packing supplies, including nearly 1,700 family necessity kits, which will soon be sent to the island. So a family necessity kit sustains a family of four to five for about one to two weeks. About half that box is full of food, uh, mostly Goya products, and then the other half is full of hygiene and other small necessities that you would need right off the bat after you lose your home. Puerto Rico expected to see more than 30 inches of rain by the time the storm clears. It comes exactly five years to the day since Hurricane Maria tore through the U.S. territory, killing nearly 3,000 people. I feel horrible for the people of Puerto Rico. On Monday night, some of the very first flights since the storm hit the island arrived at MIA, passengers describing the storm's impact. We didn't have electricity or water since like Saturday. Um, before the storm even hit. It's really discouraging and scary. Miriam Camacho lives west of San Juan and spoke to us from her home where most people are still without power and water. We have a lot of distrust in, in the services. I mean, when will, we, when will they restore power? And that remains the big question this afternoon. Meantime, we should tell you that uh, workers here at the Global Empowerment Mission are also planning to send some of those relief kits to the Dominican Republic as well. The Archdiocese of South Florida also collecting some supplies to send to the region. If you'd like to help out with any of those efforts, we've got more information posted for you on our website. That's at local10.com. For now, we are live in Doral this afternoon. I'm Trent Kelly, Local 10 News. Trent, thank you for that.